Hi, my name is Nerea and today I prepared for you a video about marbling. I'm an aspiring artist here on YouTube and also on Instagram. So if you wanna, you can check out that also on the links down below under the video. You can also like this video and subscribe. This video will be about marbling and me, you can see me now marbling all of these nice papers and I'm doing a really great job at it and also really great job at sticking my head into the camera so please excuse that I'm making this video because I wanted to show my process of making and to tell you a little bit about myself about what I do and marbling is really a big part of what I do so I'm using colors from Kremer Marbling. Uh, I bought them in Brno, which is a bigger city, city near to me. And I bought two batches actually. First one from Gabart and second one from Varg Wagner. I didn't really had problems with paints from Gabart, but from Wagner it wasn't really good you can see the green and the pink in this one but particularly the paint must have been old and sitting uh, long on the shelves because it's not acting how it's supposed to I prepared the papers and the box which I'm using to make the bath and everything ahead and the, the paper is A4 and uh, the box is slightly bigger than that to allow me to get the paper under the water I also have lots of towels around me and toothpicks and stuff like that to help me to be a bit more cleaner I started doing marbling pieces like this because I really couldn't find anything like that on internet and I mean in a cheap way for me to have access for it. It was mostly on foreign websites and I didn't have the option to go there and buy it because it was always too expensive for me so I tried to find out uh, if I can do it at home and I really did there is a two types of paint you can use this already pre-mixed marbling paints from different companies and you would use them in water bath and it can stick literally to everything, to glass, to porcelain, uh, to some fabrics, to your hands, as you can see, but uh, I'm able to deal with it, but it takes a lot of time. And yeah, so it's really good paint. Uh, then also you can use Ebru paint. Ebru is old technique of using these colors or colors similar to these it's mixture of pigment and uh, I believe a bull's pee and you would use these on top of a gelatin bath so you need to really prepare like two or three hours ahead this bath and then you can put the colors on top and you can put something inside of that and it works just the same it works on paper glass a fabric a lot of fabric painting but i believe that the paint can hold much longer on the top of the bath because here i need to work really fast because if i don't work fast the paint dries on the top and it doesn't stick to the paper so you can use 
these paints or the Hebrew paints but I'm really spontaneous and uh, the paints the Hebrew paints cost a little bit more than I would like to give so yeah so this is why I choose Kramer paints yeah and I'm using the paper that I'm marbling for my own creations and I'm making handmade sketchbooks from them I use these colored papers for the cover so every one of them is original and you can't really replace them they're one of a kind I'm making A5 sketchbooks and uh, A6 sketchbooks using, and I'm uh, saying sketchbooks because I also have notebooks books. for the notebooks I used office paper but for the sketchbooks I used Sennelier paper for sketching so it's actually a really quality paper and I really like it and I tested myself and I'm really happy about the results the, fa the thing is that I'm making them at home and I don't really have the best equipment so you can really see it's handmade there are some bumpy edges and stuff like that but I think sometimes that's the spirit of it that's the vibe of it and I really like that so if you want to check that out you can uh, check out the link down below under the video and before the Christmas season right now I also made uh, name tags for presents so these will be linked down in the description also if you want to check them out these are handmade cut and uh, yeah handmade decorated and also one of the kind so if you're going for a minimalistic um, design for your Christmas presents it, this is really good touch for it so now I would like to thank you for watching my video it was a really nice time chatting with you uh, you can buy any of products from these papers on my uh, websites down below and see you next time guys bye